Hello, Pitsky MP here with yet another Metroid Prime tutorial and help video. So today we are in ore processing. Oh boy, uh, veteran runners will probably know this the name. And uh, for you up and coming runners, well, let's just hope you don't ever have to learn the hard way. But I will explain it for you anyway. So this is the last room that can really ruin a run in the during the course of a run. Um, Vertical rooms in Metroid Prime, as we all know, can be very punishing. This one in particular combines the vertical with extremely precise and very, uh, how shall we say, particular uh, standable ledges that you need to use. So um, what I'll be demonstrating is, you know, obviously just the way that I find easiest and most consistent for me, but also, you know, uh, what has been studied as being typically the fastest places to do it from. If something else seems easier to you, then by all means, I recommend using that until you're comfortable climbing the room. Uh, first things first, don't just do this room a couple of times and feel like you're going to have it down and get to the end of the run because you will get to a run where you're on a great pace. You finally didn't fail shafts. You finally didn't do, you know, you finally beat Omega Pirate and yada yada. You're going to get the ore processing, thinking that you know this room just fine, and you're going to wish you would have listened to my advice. So I just lost a run. I, I've been running this game for four years. I literally just lost a four or five minute PB to this room uh, a couple days ago. And when I say I lost, I mean like I virtually lost all four to five minutes of it, as in I could not, my nerves got the better of me and I couldn't climb the room properly. There will be Metroids in this room if you're climbing this room in a standard any percent setting, but I'll let you figure out how to kill those as you go. So typically you'll be coming from this door over here, and you're going to want to use this corner right here. Uh, take note that you don't want to like try to land as gently and gingerly on the tip of the corner as you can because that's just the safest, most consistent way of doing it. And you're gonna to wanna to space jump backwards and forwards and land very gingerly again on the kind of corner of this pipe. This pipe has some strange collision and a lot of it will eat your jumps and stuff and some of it will just push you off. Uh, landing on this corner is consistent for both being standable and setting you up nicely for a lineup for the ghetto jump that you're going to use to get to this platform behind you. Take note that this is probably too far away and this is an impassable too high object. So you're kind of like the zone to go for is like right here, but you're not going to be aiming towards it. You're going to be looking towards here. So you're going to ghetto jump into that and then backwards. Once you're here you just want to get, get on top of this. And now this is, this next jump can be pretty annoying. If you, your, your zone is like kind of like r right here. If you're like directly underneath this or that that way of it you'll just bonk your head on that and fall if you're over here there's just like nothing to like stand on so like you want to be in like this area and this is a ceiling here and this is a floor meaning that you're going to be wedging yourself into this space but it's very narrow so you can't really you, there's not a lot of room to like just throw yourself into it you need to very gingerly kind of caress your way into the caress your way into it and i we do this by nerfing our speed uh timing our space jump in a certain way so i like to kind of fall below the ledge a little bit and then time and space jump once i'm underneath it so then i can be fall gently into it and you want to use as little control stick input here as possible um and you'll kind of feel yourself nestle in now you're going to be jumping back and out for the next jump but be sure that you actually jump back first, kind of before up, because if you just try to jump up first, you're going to bonk and fall. So, like that. Now you're up. Now the third and final jump here is definitely the most challenging. It's the most tricky, there's a lot to it. Um, I'll kind of give you as brief of a, you know, as thorough and brief of a lowdown on it as I can. My recommendation is that you just mess with this jump for a while, don't just, do it once or twice, and, or even just find one spot that works for you and assume that's the best. Mess around with it for a bit. Learn how this thing works, because if you don't, you're going to, uh, for, for consistency's sake, just, just take my word for it. You're gonna wanna make sure that you understand this jump pretty well, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you can do it every time. Um, so you'll see people do it 
really good runners can probably do it from like back here. Um, I personally actually typically don't even go for that unless I'm feeling really ballsy. Um, anywhere from like this area to like this area on this railing is honestly the best. It gives you both the best angle to work with and the most, uh, I don't know, the, the distance distance wise is easier to, to, to get there. So I'll start by just kind of going just to the right of that little like center center divide. And I'm not gonna wanna aim like directly at the tip of it, but I'm also not gonna wanna aim over there. I'm gonna wanna aim kind of towards the center of it a little bit, right? Now you basically need a very good L jump with an optimal space jump out of it. And it really, I don't know if it's actually necessary, but it absolutely makes it way easier and way more consistent. I highly recommend pressing R during your space jump. Um, now you're gonna be needing to push forward to jump towards it. Now, here's the thing, if you, don't get in a fight, you'll bonk and you'll fall down anyways. But if you get too, um, there's not really such a thing as too much height. However, there's, because this has a rounded top to it, you need to continue pressing forward for just a brief moment as you land on it. Otherwise, you're going to just roll off of the collision. But if you keep pressing forward for too long, you're going to just fly off the other side of it. So there's kind of a happy medium and a balance you need to work out in terms of uh, when to let go of forward. Um, but remember, on top of that, you also need to have like pretty optimal like jumps as well. Um, and that's where I kind of say mess around with different spots, different areas, different angles, and find what works best for you, okay? So you'll notice right when I hit, hit it, I kind of like slow down. I continue to press forward just barely did for just a moment and then I stopped as soon as you stop you need to not be press pressing forward anymore otherwise you're gonna fly off the other side and then you can space jump out um, just for the sake of uh, showing you I guess a couple of things that can go wrong here um, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like maybe if you don't get enough height or something so that's you know what I mean you, that's a regular L, R, L jump. That time it was a regular L jump with a space jump out of it. I didn't press R that time. I didn't press R that time. Pressing R, honestly, I did that time. It makes it much easier. I highly recommend it. Now I'll see if I can get one where I fly off the other side of it just to kind of demonstrate what that might look like. Um, and those just didn't have enough height. Mind you, I'm trying to do this wrong, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like get one where I'm also do it wrong here, so bear with me. I'm getting too much distance on it. it doesn't seem to be an issue from this spot. <laughs> but it will happen, I promise. It, 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 it will happen to you. Um, if you don't let go forward, you will fly off the other side. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it from this spot or not. Period. But that's alright. So, lesson learned though. Take this room seriously. Practice it. Don't just assume you know how to do it well. You know. It's one thing to do it a few times, and as you get more consistent, I understand, you know, you don't need to do it as much, but I take it from somebody that literally just lost a run here just a couple days ago. It This is not something you want to, like, there it is, finally, I got it. Okay, so yeah, this is not something that you want to take lightly. This room is precise, it's challenging, it's not that hard. <laughs> Once you, you know... Once you know those spots, once you understand the jumps, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it as long as you're practiced with it. So there it is. Or processing. Hope that helped.